Hello everyone, this is Jennifer, your services librarian in my public library. How are you guys today? Welcome to Steam Lab. For today, I'm gonna make a very simple uh, calming jar using uh, materials that you can easily find at home, including oil, water, and uh, food coloring. So something that you can easily do at home, and um, I hope you have fun with materials that. you will need is oil one cup of oil so this can be vegetable oil corn oil you can uh, something that you can easily find in your kitchen and just like two cups of water and scissors food coloring and hot glue gun be careful using hot glue gun and this foam paper so anything you can find at home that's uh, it's a waterproof maybe like a plastic shapes or uh, like a like waterproof stickers that you can use and you can uh, yes feel free to use any you can find at home so I found this piece in my house like a uh, leftover foam paper so and lastly a bottle that you can use. I pre I recommend you use plastic bottle, uh, which is safer. But uh, I, I was only able to find this glass bottle, glass jar. So you can um, if you can find plastic uh, bottle or jar at home, feel free to use it. And if you use glass bottle, be careful as you know it might break. So don't throw it. Don't uh, drop it on the floor, just put it on your desk or table and just slightly tilt it to the side. And be now we, I'm going to make a boat which goes inside of this jar. So using this foam paper, I'm going to make a triangle shape. So I'm going to cut this out. So like this. Like small size that's so the size of this uh, triangle you can kind of adjust it to put it in a jar so this one can go in a jar so it's a perfect size and using this toothpick I'm gonna glue using the hot glue gun I'm gonna glue on the back of this triangle shape so using this, it looks like this, and I'm gonna make, so using this, I'm gonna finish the rest of the boat. So the boat looks a little bit, um, so I'm gonna cut this foam paper and Like this, so it will be the shape. So you can just roughly cut into this shape, like this. And then I'm gonna use hot glue gun to attach it on the back of this foam paper. So I used hot glue gun to attach this toothpick. So on the back, I kind of wrap the bottom to the top, so it kind of covers the bottom of the toothpick, like this. And the front looks like this. Now I'm gonna color this water using the food coloring. I'm just gonna use one drop. Okay, now it looks like this. Blue. Now I'm going to put this oil in a jar. Like this. So walk one cup of oil so I use sunflower oil but it can be any oil that you find at home and I'm gonna pour this water blue water in here like this and now it looks like this okay so I have water and oil 
together in here so like looks like this okay so cool color you see here now I'm going to put this boat in the water like this okay so you you can as you can see the boat is inside here it's floating on the water so it's a really uh, fun scene that you get to see in a jar like this now I'm gonna close the, close this jar and then put attach this um, hot glue on a lid and I'm gonna close it so by doing this it will permanently close the jar so you won't open so it will be safely closed still it might leak so be careful with that okay okay here you go so this is a calming jar with the boat the water so you can kind of see boat moving a little bit so if you want you can make this boat a little smaller as well i kind of made this a little bigger to see to show you how the boat looks like in the water so it's a great scene that you can make in this jar it's a fun way to it's a simple way to make calming uh, jar at home okay looks like this so what you see in this jar is the water molecules attract each other and the oil molecules stick together that causes oil and water to form two separate layers water molecules pack closer together so they sink to the bottom and leaving oil sitting on top of the water as you can see the oil is on the top and the water uh, sink to I the bottom I hope you enjoy this steam lab and uh, have fun uh, creating your own calming jar at home and uh, I hope to see you guys next time bye guys